and welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. Another exciting edition of the Media Zone. Ooh, excitement. Well, excitement, Ed. I can't wait to get it started. This is the big uh, show where we're going to look at Twilight. All the Ooh. tweens are looking forward to. Tweens. This one actually looks from the trailer a little more interesting than the last one. Did you see the first I one? I did not see the first one. I'm not a tween, Ed. You don't have to be a tween to not like <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> it was more of a superhero thing. There wasn't a lot of vampire stuff going on. They're flying through the air and climbing trees and they can walk out, I think, when it's cloudy but not sunlight. <laughs> so they check the forecast before they go out. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. I think it takes place in Oregon or somewhere <laughs> where there, there's a lot of clouds. I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about it. Maybe, Sorry. Maybe you'll have to go see it with your own tween, Dave. Um, who wants the, I, you know what? You? I'd even think about doing that. However, my tween mm -hmm. would probably want nothing to do with me. Oh. Nice. Father daughter night at, at the film. Yeah, her idea of a nice father daughter night is dad, bring me somewhere, give me money, take off. <laughs> that what was, can you do? That was last night. Um, yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> oh well. Drop your tween off at the theater. And, at the theater. And what do you do? Do you go home or do you have to go um, look around? I wander around. What is that? <laughs> I wander around the mall to do some shop. Do some shopping. Um, there's, there's no light over here. No, over here. There's no light on this side, I can't sir. See. I, I know I'm giving away big trade secrets, but when the red light goes on the camera, mm -hmm. I know where I'm looking. Mm -hmm. But uh, last night I, uh, I wandered around the mall. Um, just to look for some shopping, because you know, Ed, we are fast approaching that holiday season. Yeah, I don't like that. And once you get past Thanksgiving, it's holy hell. Yeah, the you can't mall. get there. And I couldn't even park at Conley Center. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And yeah. this was, you know... A while ago. You have to park in the back. Yes. So you know the best place to park is Sears, where they had the used to have the um, yeah. garden center. Yeah. No one ever goes there. Mm -hmm. You can park right in front. Mm -hmm. So, but that's uh, that was it. I wandered around the mall, and um, you know, like a lonely old man that I am, <laughs> uh, until it was time to pick up the uh, children. Mm -hmm. I must have been in the afternoon because the thing closes at six, I think. Um, what does? The mall on Sunday. Well, this would have been uh, on a Saturday. Uh, oh, okay, since, Saturday. Since, right. um, I forget where I ended. Since you obviously can't read a calendar. <laughs> it's at Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're in the Twilight Zone. So, Ed, what's going on with you? Uh, we're going to look at some films tonight. Oh, um, we? I got a couple stories, Do either you? for this show or next show. Okay. Another one of those fabulous work stories. Ooh, I have one too, Ed. And then another thing I saw on Facebook, which I couldn't Ooh. believe. Mm. We got to cut. We, one of those stories has to be done on this show. We yeah. can't put them all in the next show. And then you have a story. I do have a story, which I can, you know, I can make it pretty brief. Shall I, should we go into that real quick? Uh, Let's say two minutes tops. Okay, you do yours. Okay. Um, let me try to put this as delicately as possible. Uh, apparently, an employee of the mm. state of New York cracked her pants. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time, Dave. It wouldn't be the first time. But the, the, the last time I had this story about someone that actually <laughs> defecated, uh, right. it was, it was uh, a daughter of an elderly worker who had a, a problem. I think there was some kind of a condition that caused her to leak. Apparently, this individual who's been working there, I'll call her Carla. Okay. Uh, apparently is a, you know, a long-time state employee, has been reprimanded many times for her work performance, whether it's fairly or unfairly. Of course, she feels it's unfair. And now is very reticent about getting up and leaving her seat because she's afraid she'll get yelled at. Oh. Well, I'm thinking, if you're starting to crack your pants, you might want to get up and walk away. Oh. And uh, from what I gathered, uh, you know, she was cleaning uh, her garment, probably mm. to return to work. <laughs> I don't think I would have done that. Mm. There's my story. Did it soak through to the outer? I, I don't know, Ed. I don't uh, work in this office anymore. <laughs> you just heard about I heard about the story and i um, uh, quite taken aback by this. Um, I feel that you should be in control of your bowels at all times. Mm -hmm. um, and when you start to feel the undulation and oh. the um, <laughs> constriction of the sphincter, <laughs> you might want to head to the bathroom immediately. There you go. <laughs> This wasn't my story for tonight, but I have a quick one in the similar vein. Okay. Where a guy, I think he might have been one of those special cases with the 55 and it will alphabet the following. 
<laughs> special code for uh, <laughs> special people. Okay. Uh, he w ran to the bathroom mm -hmm. and ran into the stall. Yes. And somebody I knew said, uh, heard a lot of strange sounds in there. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then he comes out, and the guy turns around and uh, asks the other guy, I I did I soil myself? <laughs> I don't oh. know if I made it in time. <laughs> you think by now when you're 50 or so, whoever, whatever uh, age this person was, you could make it to the John uh, without uh, soiling yourself. Uh, and then, but you have to ask someone. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, the, that's like the uh, whipped cream on top of the sundae. You, you had to ask. You couldn't turn around and try to check for yourself yeah. or feel or yeah, look. Stick or your hand down your pants. If the fingertips come out brown, you soiled yourself. Mm. You mm. know, that's how you, sometimes that's how you check uh, baby's diapers. You know, hey, did uh, little Joey poo or is it just gas? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> nope. Just gas. <laughs> Half full. Oh, boy. All right. We have three films to take a look at. The first is Blind Side. The Blind Side, which stars Sandra Bullock, Tim McGraw, and Kathy Bates. Ooh, Kathy Bates, that sexy woman who showed her naked breasts in a movie. <laughs> this film depicts the remarkable true story of all-American football star Michael Ower. A homeless African-American youngster from a broken home, Ower, I think I'm saying that correctly, or Oher, is taken in by the Tuies. We can't have normal names, Ower, uh. Tui, a well-to-do white family who help him fulfill his potential on and off the football field. As a football player and student, Ower works hard and, with the help of his coaches and adopted family, becomes an all-American offensive left tackle. This is rated PG-13 for one scene, just one, folks, one scene involving brief violence, drug, and sexual references. Oh, no. So this one scene, what, what, he could say, I'd like to have a cigarette and yeah. have sex with someone, and that would be why it's PG-13? Could be, unless he soils himself <laughs> out <laughs> on the could street. That could be. Another one of these true life sports tales we get a lot of. We haven't had one in a while. Well, look at it. It's a bed. He has never uh, dealt one before, apparently. He's never had one before. Oh. It's based on an extraordinarily Do you know true story. this uh, guy, Dave? No. No. But when they say it's based on a true story, that means they probably said he's a football player uh, and he's African American, and the rest is completely made up. The producer was just uh, motioning. What were you motioning? About. Sandra Bullock's uh, top, I think? Yes, it's, it seems to be far more enhanced and ample than it's been in the past. I've seen a few films with her, and, you know, she's one step above boy. Kathy Bates we just saw. We know maybe, she's not a boy. Right, maybe Kathy Bates gave Sandra Bullock some of hers. Okay, well. Yeah, I think I've seen it. I think we, we know that we know, we're going to bail out of this one. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of this. Thank you. We've, we got the gist. Yeah. No need to spend uh, 10 25 to see that. <laughs> <laughs> we got the gist of that right from there. Yeah, catch it on uh, pay-per-view. No, not, is it? Yeah. On demand. on demand. On demand. Some of these DVD releases are, I see, are on demand that day that the yes. DVD release comes out. I've seen that as well. Now, our next film is Planet 51. I think I called it Area 51 on our D 